As a woman, I have fantasies about bad boys. Is this something I need to mature out of or realize in my sex life in different ways? You know, it's not that easy to maintain sexual interest on a continuously rewarding basis across long spans of time, say, with the same partner. Now, maybe it's not that easy to maintain it, period. You know, as we age, say. Fantasy can, can provide pointers to overcome that proclivity for the deterioration of sexual interest. Well, so you have these fantasies, and that's the part of you that has a proclivity towards sexual gratification, trying to make what it needs and wants known to you. And I would say incorporating that into your sex life is probably the best bet, your best bet. And so those are fantasies that you could hypothetically talk about with your partner, assuming that you have a partner that you could talk to about such things, and maybe that would free him or her up to talk about such things with you. And maybe your partner might be more interested in your fantasies and helping you along with them than you think. It also... Now, you also asked the question about immaturity. I think I would look for the wheat instead of throwing it all out as chaff to begin with. Um, take your cues from your fantasies. Now, I'm assuming that you know, you do that in a relatively intelligent way and that it doesn't hurt you and it doesn't hurt the other person and that it's, uh, you know, there's mutual consent involved in all of those things that a wise person would do. But I wouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And the reason for that is that if you have fantasies about something that you need sexually, say, and those aren't satisfied in your life, they're not realized in your life, then when the opportunity to realize them comes up in the form of the possibility of an affair, let's say, or a betrayal, you're much more likely to be tempted in that direction than you would be if you had incorporated that into a broader conception of what your sex life might be. So, you know, one way of maintaining satisfaction with a monogamous partner is to vary what you do with that partner. And if that variation is fueled by your mutual sexual fantasies, and then those fantasies are gratified, then one source of motivation to look elsewhere and potentially blow your whole life up and that of your partner as well while doing so is ameliorated. And, you know, maybe you're ashamed of it. Well, maybe you should be, but maybe you shouldn't be. And I think assuming that those basic moral preconditions that I described earlier are met, then think about it as an elaborated sexual game and as something that you might play in a sophisticated and aware manner with a willing and able partner. Um,